Hey, what's up everybody? Happy Aloha Friday. Today's restaurant is called Cook Street Market. It's on Cook Street, of course, and it's in that little plaza with a bunch of different shops to eat at. Kind of near where I went to eat at New Baguette and uh, the New Queen Barbecue, right along that same area. Um, parking can be hard here, but if you go for an early lunch or they also offer some things you could eat for breakfast, there's tons of uh, metered stalls that you can park in and um, it's right up front so you just walk right to it. It's got really uh, great decor. I think it has a nice fresh trendy look. I also love that they play on their TV some awesome 90s alternative classics such as I heard um, some Counting Crows and all that. Super cool. They have some things for sale from different craft uh, vendors on the shelf and some nice little uh, Hawaii type cards and crafts pretty cool so they're known for their poke bowls some fruit bowls such as asahi bowls and such some tea drinks and also their uh, sirloin and chicken dishes so let's get into the food so the first dish is their surf and turf plate uh, it's a bit expensive we'll go over the price later but I wanted to show the different items they have on their menu board so this combines certain items so it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone I really wanted the sirloin steak but Unfortunately, I'm an early bird and the steak wasn't ready yet. The nice man at the counter was super friendly and let me film around and everything. He said uh, the chicken was ready, so I got the chicken instead. And if you're looking for steak, that's usually ready at 11 uh, a.m. during lunch hours. I got uh, one of their most popular pokes, which is the Garlic Lovers Poke. And it's almost like a spicy ahi, but with tons of garlic on top. Nice, crispy... Uh, chopped garlic and I got their habanero chicken. They have different types of chicken and different types of poke. Also, I like the fact that you can pick between ahi, salmon, or a ahi salmon mix. And that's what I got. I wanted to try both, so I got the ahi salmon mix. It comes with two pickled vegetables and a side salad. And if you're wanting your utensils, they have different um, things you can grab on your own. Lots of napkins, chopsticks, forks. They have wasabi, shoyu, and all that stuff. So you can uh, just grab it right there. So we'll start with the chicken first. This is a bite of the chicken. It's got the habanero sauce. If you don't like spicy, they have other options. Mm. When I think of chicken, I think it's boring. And I didn't know what it was going to be like, but this has kind of like a slight crunch to it. Like a fried chicken. And it's just uh, drenched in the sauce, but still crispy. Very delicious. And I don't think it's spicy at all. It has a really nice flavor. And if you're looking for different flavors and you don't like spicy, um, I'm reading that their chicken bowls have um, masala curry flavored uh, chicken. They have uh, garlic ginger chicken. So there's other um, flavors for those who don't like spicy things. Although I don't think this is spicy yet. I haven't felt any heat yet. It's actually kind of sweet and tastes really good. The chicken's moist, it's not dry and the sauce really complements everything. I like the fact that there's these crispy bits in the chicken that give it some crunch sometimes, but there's also the um, nice juicy parts. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit of heat, but it's not unpleasant, it's just a little tingle. The rice is like on the bottom and soaks all the juices in the sauce. Super good. So on the side, there's some pickled veg, and it looks like some sukimono um, made out of nap napa cabbage or wanbok, and some pickled uh, cucumbers. We'll try them out. Mm. Yeah, exactly like sukimono. Just that nice, clean, salty flavor. Nothing complicated, but kind of refreshes your palate and cleans it out between each bite really good mm. and the cabbage kind of has a citrus taste like a lemony taste with the salt definitely a good uh, palate cleanser for sure all right we're gonna dig into the poke like I said I got the salmon and um, ahi mix so we'll try this out look at these um, big chunks of the uh, fish and it's got tons of the garlic chips on it, the crunchy garlic. Mmm. Such a different texture combination which makes it exciting. The crunchy garlic, the 
fish that's cubed and soft, but not too soft. It has the good texture of what poke should taste like. And it's got the typical like spicy ahi mayonnaise mix. Wow. I want to say, you know, I love poke in all kinds of styles, but usually you get the same thing over and over, whether it be your regular classic limu, your shoyu, onion, everybody likes spicy ahi, the wasabi, etc. But this is something totally new and it's really uh, delicious. It's exciting and new to eat, a different kind of way of eating poke. The garlic chips are what make it and I'm not sure if it's just that or if there's a little bit more garlic in the mayo sauce, but this is really, really good. Super delicious. Okay, so I'm here in Ala Moana and I don't mean to bitch about it, but I just want to know why. You know, I picked the top floor of the garage because it's shady and I parked way far away from the stairs and the elevator where people want to go shop and it was totally empty. But it's like, out of all the stalls that are empty, I have like three people that just park next to me. It's just weird. It's like a magnet. Maybe they smell the food or something, but I don't know. Sometimes you just want to vlog alone and they don't think you're nuts, but they just come and park right next to you and the whole garage is totally empty. And out of the whole garage, they park next to you. It's just really random. Anyway, enough bitching about people parking next to me. Um, this is the salad that comes with it. You don't get to pick a, uh, the dressing. It looks like um, something like a vinaigrette, but it looks like really nice, fresh pieces of romaine lettuce. That's a really pleasant dressing. It's a vinaigrette, but it's kind of got a sweet note to it. Very good. Another uh, palate cleanser with all the heavy things uh, with the pickled vegetables. Really delicious. Although the chicken is super bomb, imagine this with sirloin steak. I think this would be amazing with a steak. And I really loved everything in this plate lunch. Everything from little things to the pickled ve vegetables, the sauces and everything. Very, very delicious. So this might hurt some people that are very frugal, but I don't mind paying for something that's delicious. Um, the surf and turf poke combo plate is $21. And I think it would be um, much more um, of a value with the sirloin steak. But if you don't eat red meat, um, it's a good thing that they have chicken, but both with chicken or the steak, it's the same price. All right, so this is the caramel horjicha? Horjicha, I think, that's what he told me. And he explained, the guy there, super friendly man, um, told me that is a tea, which is matcha tea, but it's uh, kind of like roasted. So that's why you don't see the green. And it's pretty popular in Japan, but he said it's not really that popular here in Hawaii yet or the US. So um, I think he thinks it's gonna catch on. It's starting to kind of gain steam. So I said, why not? Let's try it. So I'm gonna try this out. And he said, it's kind of like a creamy frappe type of thing, but instead of uh, coffee, you use tea and it's got uh, milk in it and cream. So if you're lactose intolerant, you might not want to get this, but we'll take a taste. Mmm. It's very different. Um, you do taste the matcha. So if you're a fan of matcha tea, it's there. I love matcha, but it does have that slight roasted flavor. That's very unique and new to me. I think it's delicious. And this one has the caramel in it. And I told him I don't really like things that are too sweet because in the photo, it looks super sweet. Usually you get a topping of coffee jelly, but I'm not into that, so we took it out. But if you order this, you'll get that jelly stuff if you're into that. And um, it's a pretty good dessert drink, I guess. I think it's pretty refreshing. If you're into creamy drinks such as horchatas and things, you'd probably like this but you would need to like uh, teas or matcha tea because some people I know don't like it because it's too strong of a flavor for them. But I don't, I don't think so. I really like matcha. So if you're a fan of matcha, definitely try it, this out. It's a new thing, horjicha. Um, 
I think I'm saying it right. He did tell me what it was pronounced, but I kind of forget. But I think it's horjicha. And there's different kinds. There's some with no caramel and it's just milk. And some just with tea, if you just want a cold brew tea. He has different types of drinks using this roasted matcha. So for that caramel horjicha, it's $7.50. And now off to dessert, which is actually a breakfast item, but it could be dessert too. And I got the uh, hunky bowl. They have Asahi bowls, but I already showed a Asahi bowl from another place. So I thought I'd do something different. And I've never tried this before. It's almost like a Asahi bowl, but made with bananas. Um, unfortunately, it does have peanut butter. So if you're allergic to peanut butter, you might not want to get it, or you can ask him to omit it. But it's pretty much almost like a Ben & Jerry's Chunky Monkey type of uh, breakfast bowl. If you're into other desserts, they have tons of ice cream sandwiches. I would have got one, but it probably would have melted by now and I think it's a little too early to be eating ice cream for me so I picked this instead but they do have delicious ice cream sandwiches and here's all the different flavors they have and I think it's pretty innovative and different types of flavors that anybody could choose something that they would love including some vegan style ice cream sandwiches so this hunky bowl has chocolate chips peanut butter some Nutella sliced bananas all in a banana puree on the bottom with granola i'm excited to try this something totally different that kind of resembles an asahi bowl so if you like these fruit bowls with granola it's something different to try wow <laughs> that's like a candy bar in a spoon like if you like reese's peanut butter cups this is awesome. This is like a peanut butter lover's dream. And I love the different textures of the granola, the crunch of it. And when you mix the peanut butter with the chocolate and the chocolate chips, damn, that's good. And the puree on the bottom isn't too banana-ish. So it's not like a strong banana taste. It's really good. It's just like a creamy taste. Yeah, this is hitting the spot. So good. And th this looks small, but if you were to eat all of this for breakfast, you'd definitely be full. And I like the banana smoothie on the bottom, including with the, bana the fresh bananas, because it kind of cleanses the heaviness of the peanut butter and chocolate. Because, you know, it's like literally scooping peanut butter in your mouth. Even though it tastes good, it kind of like gets gunky in your mouth. But the banana smoothie definitely helps. Uh, balance that and I see in here there's a little bit of flaxseed so it's a pretty healthy meal besides the sugar but at least you got flax seeds and all the good grains in there and it doesn't taste like bad or anything I don't even taste the flax seeds it just tastes like delicious sweet granola I love how they also add chocolate chips into this because it's cold with a frozen smoothie on the bottom so since they're cold they kind of crunch in your mouth along with the granola and it just you know eventually melts in your mouth into this chocolate chocolate goodness this is super good i wasn't really knowing what to expect or had any expectations on this but i actually am really enjoying this hunky bowl this is delicious for the hunky bowl it is ten dollars and fifty cents all right so that's pretty much my showcase of uh, cook street market here in the kakaako area definitely check them out for some awesome eats uh, they're super friendly the girl was friendly and the guy the main guy talking to me sorry I didn't get his name super helpful and he was even helpful to the person in front of me that wasn't too sure about what to get because that person also went there for the first time so if you have any questions on their menu or recommendations based on your taste preference he's very patient and he'll explain different items to you and what you might like and suggest something so definitely try it out everything i tried was delicious from the savory side to the sweet side to this delicious matcha tea which is new to me the roasted matcha delicious and you know always support a business that's producing awesome food and also awesome service he said they've been there for five years already and this is the first time i've ever heard of this place so definitely check them out if you're in the area and they're open early from 9 a.m so if you're wanting some breakfast or just a quick bite to eat you can always just stop in they also have pre-prepared things such as um fried rice and like little uh tubs of things like 
you know, kind of in that hot plate musubi type uh, warmer where you can just grab and go as well and eat a small breakfast or something like that. So that's pretty much my showcase today and I hope you can support them and I'll see you on another food adventure. Press the like button if you like this, subscribe if you're new, share it if you want, and I will see you again. Take care, peace out.